Filming. We're filming. Hey, there's a cat here. There's a cat. Um, welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. I was actually about to say Vancouver Drywaller for the first time ever by accident. Today, <clears throat> oh man, uh, it's not the Rona, it's the Roxel. Um, okay, today we're actually going to hang some drywall and I don't even, I didn't even feel like filming because I don't know what this video is. Is, is it how to hang drywall on res bar? Is it how to hang a ceiling? I don't know. So we're just going to film a video hanging drywall on a ceiling that has resilient channel. And um, yeah, may as well get right to it. Um, Cause yeah, then I don't have to think so much. I'll just work. So first thing we're going to do here, we're going to start on this side. And I want to put a little support up here to make it a little easier. So I'm just going down. It's 5 8 drywall. I'm dropping this to about an inch, inch and a half lower than the resilient channel. Something nice and uh, easy to slip the drywall under. It doesn't have to be snug. In fact, you don't want it to be snug because it's harder to fit the drywall in there when you're lifting the sheet up. So it could even be a couple inches down. So there's our first support and that's the only one we're going to be able to do on this one because this one has a big cutout right here. This wall is going to be like a theater movie thing. So there's a roll down projector screen going up in this little nook. So we got to figure out where is that going to be? What's our measurements on that? So it is off of this stud right here. 24 and a quarter, but I'm going to cut it a little short because I know things always tend to grow. So 24 and an eight, 24, one, eight. What are we here? What do we want it to be? Seven and a half. I'm going to go a little bit bigger so that it's not too crunched. Let's go seven and five, eight down. So seven and five, eight. Oh. Don't want to lose that one. I'm going to check it along here to see how it is. And down here, what is it? It's more like almost seven and three quarters there. So I think we're just going to go seven and five eighths for the whole thing. And figure it out. Let the taper fix it. Okay, now we need another measurement. So we're not going to measure from this wall because that's dumb. Why is it dumb? Because when you're measuring out for your sheets, you want to be measuring from the same points all the time. If you start measuring from different points, then you get different measurements resulting in screwed up sheets. So we are going to go here. Just butt into that little guy right there. And hopefully... Oh, don't bend. Don't bend. Alright, I'm going to call that 128. So we got 128. Oh, that tape was bent. Yeah, 128. 24 and an eighth. 128. Little slide mark there. You don't always need a square. Sometimes you can do this a little quicker. Okay, now. Seven and five eighths. Right here. Seven and five eighths. Make a little mark with my knife. Okay, this. Can't will this work right now? Yeah, good. My thumb works just enough. Just enough to do this. So how accurate is this? Ooh, it grew could be my crippled thumb, but you know what the good news is, it actually grew along that wall in the wrong direction. Because <laughs> it's flipped around. Okay, quick cut here. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking? Let's leave this together and cut it up top. We've already done this slide cut, so it's going to snap easily. Uh, just realizing that if we try and carry this around with these annoying little corners, there's a good chance we're going to break it. All right, you guys, uh, this, this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare with my mangled thumb, 12 foot 5 8, no lift. Um, I'm, I'm, before we've even started, I'm immediately regretting this decision. But uh, let's do it. So, 
I'm gonna lift my end somehow. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna lift my end somehow with my mangled arms and hands. And I'm gonna try and get a few screws in here. And I've carefully mapped out my uh, sheet so that we don't go into the joists here. All right. Ugh. Dang on, don't, don't lift your end until I get mine up. Okay. Well, I guess a little bit, get it into the window space there. Okay. Great. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Okay. Let's pass. It is in, let's pass. Are you good for a bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that went into something. And we got something right here. That went into something. Good thing I laid stuff out. I don't always. Ooh, don't go into the bevel on 5 8 When you're doing hat track or steel stat or any of that stuff, it just likes to strip out. Well, hang on to that tight. That's going to let go there. Put another one for insurance. Okay, I don't really need much more here. I'm gonna move down to your end so that you can let go. Couple in right here, one there. Yeah, it is a bit deep. Don't let go. That's better. Oh, wait, a couple more here. Right here. Hey, good thing this brace is new, hey? Otherwise you'd be smelling like old cheese brace. <laughs> that one didn't do what I wanted it to. Ooh. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, there's one sheet down. Good stuff. So time to screw this one off. All right, that wasn't so bad, you guys. Time to set this on auto and get this up here. Not doing what I want yet. Hey. actually went surprisingly well. Um, I didn't expect it to, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So, let me see if I can show you a couple more things here. Let's get this cut out first. Find out if I put the opening in the right place. Um, 5 8 usually needs a couple scores to snap well. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to give it one more little cut as I go down here. Especially in an awkward spot like this, it'll need two cuts. It doesn't always, but for this one, yeah. Where is the stop? There. That one's too far over. I remember that a little bit. Let's see, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's something in the way. 
This is only marginally easier than it would have been to cut it on the ground. But I know it's easier. Get down. Ah, it's coming down. Not very nicely. This is embarrassing. I can already hear all the seasoned rockers that are watching this one just to criticize. I could have had six sheets up by now and been off for lunch having Percocets and beer. That's how you know they're the real drywallers. <laughs> there. Not too bad. Oh, a little overcut, but uh, taper will fix that with some confill. I know the taper, it's okay. Okay, um, I wanna show you guys another thing over here about fastening to uh, steel. It's hard to get um, the first screws to bite when you're fastening to steel. So one thing to keep in mind is uh, it really helps to get your drill up to full speed first. And on something like this, I'm just gonna hold this in place because it's gonna wanna just push it up. So I'm gonna kind of hold it. And it's all just about being really fast. Like basically you gotta just boom. And um, the screws you use too can matter a lot. So these are like good quality screws from an actual drywall supply. You get the cheap fine thread Home Depot screws. Those things suck. They're like rounded over on the tips. They don't hurt your fingers as much when you're digging in the bag, but when you uh, want these to bite really quickly into steel stud, yeah, get the real screws, you know? Otherwise, they just don't work quite right. Ah, like that. It's okay. Taper will fix it. Um, yeah, time for the next sheet. Got to get a length from here over to the last one there that's under 12 feet. Well, you guys, uh, the ceiling is done. The last thing we did to chunk in all the little bits is I went around and I measured them all, cut them and just left them by the wall. And 
Um, our very helpful cameraman went and screwed them all in. So it's a little bit of teamwork going on there. It's nice when you can divide the labor. One person does one, one does the other. It goes a little faster. And it saved me using the drill, which was crippling my thumb. But yeah, uh, next week, come back, do the walls. Start thinking about all them taping videos I need to make and all the other drywally hangy videos that I have to make. Um, lots coming. Don't know what it's going to be or when, but it is. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Uh, till the next video, you guys. This one's done. Whatever it was.